Got two plays to show you, all from the first touchdown drive. Uh, both of them very interesting. The first one, a third and nine, and Tyler Boyd doing something that he's worked on with you before? Uh, he has run this route probably hundreds of times at this point. Um, it really is, a, is an inside route designed uh, to isolate him on whatever coverage is here. And he really has the freedom to either wrap a linebacker, right, to break out away from it, or he could he can wrap him in and then rip back outside. So there's he's got a lot of freedom at the top, and he knows how to run this route uh, versus multiple different looks and coverages. Um, he's done this so many, so many times, and this is what you get um, with a guy like Tyler when he, he knows the reps invest. And you can see Will trust it. They're playing coverage on defense where they're, uh, they're, they're clouding here on the, to the passing strength, and this backside safety is pushing the number three. And so Tyler knows he has to wrap this linebacker, and Will's got to get this ball into this window before the safety gets there. And it's about as good of a throw and catch and two guys being on the same page uh, as you could ask for. Zoom. And then gets an extra eight, nine, ten yards after the catch because of uh, that placement of the ball and his ability to turn and get vertical. So what you're saying is he's not running like a curl or a post or an out. He's finding the space, and Will's going Will's gonna to wait to see what he does right there. That's what we're looking for. He's okay. got one defender to work on, knowing that there's probably another coming from the backside, but this is the area he's trying to get into uh, with his route. And you see right as well, really nice, nice job up front by those guys. Just enough time, but you can see as he – it's a tight shot from the back, but that's the window. And that's third down football in the NFL. Tight windows, quick throws, timing and precision, and that's how you convert. That's big. And that third and nine was a huge play on that first drive. Yep. Gave you some momentum. Let's go to the next play, which gives us a chance to look at the touchdown. So we, we weren't sure what kind of goal line package they would be in uh, because of a new, the new coordinator there, and they had shown – two different styles before. So we wanted to go on to throw it for the first time with the idea that uh, we would like to have been faster with our tempo here. We, this is a speed, a speed break, we call it, where we get lined up quick and snap it as fast as we can. The official held the ball. It took a little while longer than we thought it would. Um, but the, the premise of the play is, is very simple. Um, it is a play action, slide protection. Everyone's going back a gap. You get a corner route by him. You get a flat route by Chig. And then the back is going to go right, block that edge. And it's really just your simple high-low, and you just read whatever one pops first, um, you have a chance to hit. And you can see there the fake gets just enough of the linebacker to bite. He's got his eyes in the backfield, so he's not sure which one to cover. And you see Nick on the, uh, racing to the back of the end zone on that corner route. And really great job by Will, putting the ball in a place where this defender can't retrace and make a play on it. So he puts it in, a, in, in sort of a back shoulder spot kind of as quick and fast as he can to get it into the void. When I watched the tape, I had no idea how close the linebacker gets to knocking the ball away if it's not thrown back shoulder. Correct. And what happens, too, is if, if he tries to throw this ball to the front side with some pace, he's in great position to intercept it. If you put too much air on it, he can fall off underneath it. And so that's really the only throw you had there was that style of throw. So it was a really nice job by Will. Um, knowing and understanding where the, where the void in the defense was and, and getting the ball to Nick very quickly. The end zone shot's really interesting to watch Tony Pollard step up and occupy Gary, which is a big deal right there because it's going to come. Here's obviously Tony Pollard headed this way, as you said. Yep, and like, it's a full gap protection. We're, we're selling the run. It's an action pass. And as, we, as, as Nick releases, this is the free player and Chig releases. So we pull him out and him out, and that's the one guy left. And his job for Tony right, is to go manage that block, which he does a great job of. Most of the time, we end up telling those guys to cut that block because that's not uh, the matchup that you want generally one-on-one. <laughs> no. uh, -on -one. So in these particular action passes, you want the running back to try to go cut his leg uh, and get his hands down so we can make this throw because it generally happens pretty quick. Um, but it's really an excellent job by Tony uh, making sure we have enough time to get that ball off. And you can see the placement of the throw in the window from this back end a little bit better. Um, that's the void is right back here. That's away from that defender's leverage. Uh, and that's exactly where Will put the ball. Do you coach it that way or is that a decision by Will? It's a decision by Will based on the leverage. And he knows that that is on that particular play. That is a, a window where this ball can be completed and, um, and did a great job recognizing it and putting it there.
Good stuff, Coach. Thanks. Yeah, we love it. this segment of the show because this guy is really good at Titans tape.